Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. I know, I know, I know that I've been doing this this historic site and it's not fun. It's not fun for me. It's not fun for you. Maybe I don't know. Maybe you maybe you enjoy my pain. Probably you do. I know that's fine. That's fine. That's fair. I deserve that probably. No. Uh, no, we're not starting the episode with self-deprecation. Um, yo, good work, Litho, turning that croc into a statue. And you know what? I bet the statue, the croc is cool with it because they become a part of the history of this place, you know? Like the time, the history of the time I invaded this historic site so I could just take everything. Uh, <laughs> I was about to say something political, but then I caught myself. You could probably fill the blanks in on that one. Something about a museum, maybe, you know? Uh, anyway, um, so anyway, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and finish off this historic site. I'm pretty sure we're done here. I don't think there's gonna be much else. Um, the wor oh, I hit my own litho. Don't you hate it when you hit your own litho? Ah, I hate I hate these croco lads. The worst part about them is that they can charge, and then every time I meet one, I I have to deal with a, a charge and a very small chance of uh basically losing a limb on that initial charge we're gonna temporal fugue wow every single clone appeared on the other side of the wall that's not what you want to see okay i'm pretty sure that room is empty now uh what did i just get it was a folding chair I love the idea that the reason there's so many folding chairs in uh, historic sites is because it, you know, the the creatures, the denizens of the cult, like to, um, you know, sit around and talk. They're kind of like, uh, not Mormons. What are the other ones? Uh, uh, you know, they 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 knock on your door, but they're like, you know, they want to talk about. Uh, the history of Dugapad. You know, can I can I bother you for a moment to speak about Dugapad? Um, you know, I, I've got some interesting insights that I, I think that you would really find interesting about the history of Dugapad. Uh, and you say no, and then they come in anyway. Well, no, they don't. They don't come in anyway. <laughs> they come in anyway. They're gonna taste a get a taste of my dual rail handrails if you forget what i get my what i'm putting down i don't own any guns in real life okay all right just gonna go ahead and put that down for posterity um litho what are you doing litho what is litho doing he just seems to be kind of hanging out there he's not really doing anything what what is your problem mobility impaired oh that's it for him Gonna have to put the old boy down. There it is. Sorry, Litho. You know, that Litho had a pretty good run. And they even leveled up, because they were with me when I handed in my books. Oh, there's still more Croco lads. I'm so, so sick and tired. Oh, there's another Litho. One of my selves got turned into a statue. Uh, something else got turned into a statue there. Oh, myself. <laughs> There's another me there that is blocking the doorway. Okay, well, we're gonna have to do this dance again with, uh, you know, with the pickaxe. I can't believe we have reputation with trees. Well, what am I gonna do with that? What in the world am I gonna do with tree rep? I don't know. I guess I could hang around in the uh, banana jungle. Pretty sure most of the things there are trees. Although, no, actually, I think most of them are plants. Okay, uh, proselytization time. Yo, lith new litho friend confirmed. Friendship with old litho ended. Friendship with new litho confirmed. New best friend confirmed. Um, go ahead and fight him, litho. Why are you doing nothing? Cleaved. That, okay. Well, never mind. Goodbye. Goodbye, Litho. Um, actually, I'm going to get out of here before you fully die. Close the door behind me, and I'm going to wait. Well, we'll, we'll cook up a meal. 
can't cook with hostiles nearby. Where are these supposed hostiles? Um, whip up a meal. And we're going to wait 44 turns for our temporal fugue to come back. And then we're going to go in uh, temporal fugue a croco. Probably prosthetize him first. Yeah, we'll prosthetize a croco. Having a croco friend is actually pretty great. I don't know, is there a limitation to how much, how many things you can prosthetize? Could I have just like prosthetized every single um, croc I saw? Cause that, that would have been nice. That would have been a good way of dealing with this situation. Uh, I think this is actually like spells the end of this historic site. It has been a wild ride. I love that the croco's helping. <laughs> Croco lad is is helping me out fighting this uh, ticking vent. Okay, it's broken. Okay, doing an auto explore. Oh, there is more. There is still more. Oh my god, it just doesn't end, does it? Wait, why why are we? Uh... Oh, I guess I didn't fully destroy it, and now unfortunately, my my Croco lad is stuck in trying to break that ticking vent purgatory hell um, but there's still more books to be grabbed here many 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 books many books still many books many books many 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 books many that's it that's it that is all she wrote about this historic site it is finally done I can't believe it it's been it's, it really has felt like a chore. Um, it's I, I'm so glad to be done with this damn bloody horrible, the worst, the actual worst place. Hate it. Hated that historic site. Never want to even think about Croco site ever again. So, anyway, how are you doing? Sense an animus of a vast... A vast mind. Cobalt Field Alaka. It's just a ruin. Free ego? That'd be nice. No, no ego for me. Donning, uh, we have a Don Glider though. We don't get any XP from Don Gliders. Don Gliders are no longer really worthy of us. Look at all the books I'm still collecting. I thought we were done with the uh, historic site that should not be named or mentioned ever again. But no, apparently we are still collecting books. Look at them. Look at them all. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's still... No, I guess we're not done. Because we still have to deal with these infernal squares. Ticking vents. Can't believe me. You know, there's really nothing stopping us from doing the next... Uh, parts of the quest. In fact, there's a uh, quite a few achievements um, tied to the, the, the storyline including um, <clears throat> You know finishing the tomb of the eaters um, uh, What else I know there's more Let's see after rainbow wood. I'm pretty sure is tomb of the eaters. There's of course fight a deca slime But I haven't really been preparing too well for that. I actually kind of don't want to do it on this playthrough because um you know, buying all of, uh, buying all of the alchemist goods is like the best way to prepare for that. And the alchemist died, unfortunately. So, buh, buh, and or guh, you know, as they say. But yeah, um, but yeah, I have to, I have to collect a mask from the tomb of the eaters. That is, of course, a quest uh, or an achievement. That's not, we're not going to complete that achievement. I have to collect all six of those. And unfortunately, I don't know which ones I've collected so far. I have to do one of each. Oh yeah, there's also an achie uh, a quest, a side quest in the, um, oh, we're too famished. In the uh, Tomb of the Eaters that I've never completed. And I, I, I didn't know how. And the first time I entered the Tomb of the Eaters, I was very nervous about it. I was a nervous Nelly about it and uh, I didn't really want to have to I didn't want to deal um, But you know, we're on roleplay mode and I'm also kitted up to the knees Well up to the neck really 
and head. So uh, I don't have much to fear from the Tomb of the Eaters. We leveled up again. Level 37. What do we get? We got a mutation point. Can we throw that on Temporal Fugue? We can, actually. That'll bring us up to 10 copies. It's a big, big round number. Um, I do want to improve multiple arms at some point. What is our likelihood with multiple arms right now? Almost 50%. Almost 50%. Every every two attacks, we attack with every weapon that we hold. Well, no, no, sorry, not every weapon. We have a chance of hitting with another weapon. And then Flurry, it just, we hit with everything, so. Um, alright. So what do we want to do? We might actually want to do Rainbow Wood. Um, trying to think. What do we want to do? Slinth, we can't do anything with the Slinth yet. Not for a while. Is there any... Oh, there is a... There was that interesting village I got. Kind of interested to follow up on that. Um, settlements. Hydropon, Bimu. Goatfolk Village. Bela. Blackvale Goatfolk Haunt. Oh, that's a that's a goat folk village in Eid Freehold. That is uh, pretty tough. I don't really want to have to take that on, to be honest. We got some Snapjaw Forts. We could check those out. Got a lot of goat folk villages, but um, probably not a lot of them are actually worth following up on. Could just like hang around the jungle and try and make friends. We still have to make friends with Mamon Soul Drinker. I don't know where we're at with goat folk. Probably not very high. Negative 300 is actually not bad. In fact, one more good chunk of reputation would do us. Oh, I had that love tonic, didn't I? And there's a there's a really good goat folk. There was a good goat folk uh, person in um, in one of the ruins, wasn't there? I kind of ruined that, didn't I? <laughs> not to, not to pun, but I did. I, I forgot. There's a, this subterranean ruin, 22 strata deep. We might as well check that out, and and just kind of follow up with this. I think I just I just stopped because things were getting kind of spicy, and uh, I had tons of equipment and stuff to hand in. So, you know, I might as well do... Oh my god. <laughs> Stopped one short of metamorphic polygel. I broke it. God, that, this seems to be happening a lot these days, doesn't it? Cannot repair a weird artifact. I wish there was a button that just said apply with uh, fix-it spray gel. Applicators. We don't have a lot of this left. I've been kind of blow like burning through it. Also, we don't have our slimy bliss of glass equipped. That's incorrect. I wonder if our um, advanced toolkit... No, our advanced toolkit works. Weird. I don't know. Oh, uh, we want to definitely get all of this disassembled. I wonder, is this Tinker 3? Probably. I wouldn't mind uh, at a certain point making a bunch of spheres of negative weight. If we can get a, a ton of AI microcontrollers, that would be really decent. Wonder what's taking, we, we just have a lot of recoilers. I kind of want to disassemble some of these because not all of them are useful to us. Some of them definitely are for sure, but not a lot of them are necessary. Uh, I think I am going to disassemble the arc winder. I'm sure it's good. I think the probably the best thing about the arc winder is it uh I think it probably goes through armor. Like it doesn't it doesn't uh, actually like it it's infinite pen as it were, but it doesn't you can you you won't critical with it. That's the that's the downside. We are carrying a lot of crystal goods right now. I'm just like looking through my stuff to see if I if I have some stuff I can drop or no, it doesn't seem like it. Okay. I love it when um, a tur turret tinker gets killed by their own turret. There's some like 
poetic karma there. There's really not a lot of things that could kill us down here. There's a couple of robots, maybe. Um, I've I've been saying a lot that uh, you know if I encountered a chrome pyramid underground, that would be really bad. But I actually don't think that that's very likely. I think the chrome pyramids, at least right now, are kind of limited to being at the uh, the Deathlands, and the Deathlands are um, kind of an endangered species. Like they're they're done so. Deathlands are gonzo. Psionic full rate mall. Oh, that's a shame. Full psionic uh crystal mall would be amazing. I would a hundred percent grab that. Um like if you haven't seen it yet, uh I did cover the alpha of Moonstair, um, which is replacing Deathlands. Deathlands right now have just been kind of serving as like a a large amount of um, ruins that have, like, ridiculous creature pools. Uh, and they're not, you know, they're not very interesting. They're not really planned. They, they were just kind of a, a place to go when you were done uh, everything else. You didn't really want to, you know, you, 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 you'd done everything you wanted to do. That was a dynamic turn, Tinker. I know that I could have done something interesting, but never mind. Uh, I don't know if we collected some anti-matter cells there. Not gonna play around with, uh, Ego Saps. We actually get XP from Ego Saps, which is kind of crazy. Oh, sorry, I just, like, straight up smacked the mic there. What do we got? Sonic full right longsword. Nope. We are inspired. I almost want to go to um, Tomb of the Eaters just to like get a bunch of bone meal. Choose ingredients. Let's uh, let's make something cool. Let's do some canned have it all. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We'll do some cycle gland paste for sure. And um, dried vanta petals. I don't know what these do. I think they're phasing. Burrowing Claws at level 5-6, oh my god. Oh, they're DV, apparently. Reveals the secret to you. Really don't have any use for DV. But I, I'm happy for the Burrowing Claws, they're always nice. R ruins, okay, we got a, some Ruin secrets. Uh, okay, that's a Memory Eater, that's fine. If I have to deal with a Twinning Lamprey or something like that, that's less okay. You hate to see it when you're... Oh, wow. You turn a corner and it's immediately... Wow, an actual file of cloning draw. Amazing. We could definitely use that. So what do we got here? Five serrated items. One of the few mods that I don't have. Speaking of which, I didn't... I never did buy shoes, did I? It's okay. We'll go to, like, a really lame uh, village and we'll buy a bunch of sandals. You know, a village out there. You're, you'll you'll be, you would be so lucky. You should be so lucky if we'll sell you our shoes, my guy. Um, anything cool? Luckily, I have my scaled boots back. Really, having those scaled boots, our scaled boots have like done work for us, because it just. Just having that alone is enough to uh, for us to not have to deal with unshelled reptiles. It's been great. We st we do want to fight uh, sleep beards though if we find them. Oh look at that! We have another sky bear. We'll fight a sky bear. Why not? Pretty sure we can just fight them in the cryogenic mist. We don't actually have to. Yeah, there we go. They're worth almost 900 XP at this point. Um, I'll do a, a, like a, a little wait at some point to, for the mist to disappear. Because I don't really want to get frozen and then have to use a blaze injector and blah, 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 blah. You know. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Isn't this the guy that took me out last time? Loved by the Peter Sam Disliked by GoFolk. 
And he has a crystal longsword. <laughs> Amazing. Um, I think he used his best weapon, which is probably a explosive grenade Mark III. So we're going to Urberry up. And Temporal Fugue. Oh, I just got an achievement. Me, myself, and I. I think that was the, uh, the first clone achievement. Share the map with ten clones of yourself. So there you go. Achievement got. That was actually the impetus of this entire series, that one achievement. The next one is, I believe, share the, a tile with, like, 20 or 40 clones. So it definitely gets, you know, harder. But we also just got some goat folk rep. That is, like, a big deal. And we also just got another crystal longsword. That is also a big deal. So a lot of progress was just made. None of which I take for granted. These guys are tough. Another slip ring. Those are kind of nice. I don't know if slip rings are, like, good, but they seem okay. I guess you could have, like, multiple and then they would all, you know, benefit you, maybe? I don't know if they stack. I do appreciate just the gratuitous nature of ex auto exploring with burrowing claws. Oh god. Can we just like shoot some mushrooms? All right. Actually shooting mushrooms seems to be very effective. I didn't realize that, but they I guess they won't spore unless you actually walk next to them. And if you have a, a good enough weapon, this guy is actually going to be a pretty good... Aw, Croco lad. I didn't actually want to kill him. He just gave me an antimatter cell. That was going to be a good dynamic turret tinker. And you, you killed him. I mean, I understand your lust for blood. But, you know, sometimes it is unwarranted. Sometimes keeping things alive is actually beneficial. I'm just going to shoot mushrooms. I, I apologize to all friend to fungi in real life. Uh, you know, I, I, I like a good fungi myself. They're great at parties. But, uh, you know. Uh, my, my Unfortunately, my... Did we just lose? Yeah, we're hungry. So we lost burrowing claws. Uh, I, I, I happen to know that my... Re, re, um, cure for fungal is not not super convenient so i don't really want to deal let's uh, try one of our normal let's do hulk honey and cycle gland paste get another secret uh, we learned of a settlement i think it was another goat folk one i think we could actually visit goat folk villages now I think we're at the point where they wouldn't, uh, they won't, they wouldn't actually kill us on sight. And if they do happen to have a legendary, then, um, you know, that's, uh, that's some more goat folk rep straight away. Those are chem cells. That's a, I think a life sap. Eigen turret tinker. Not sure what kind of cells, uh, Eigen turrets are going to give us. So what is this? I can turrets left hard point. You know, the nice thing about having a Croco lad friend is um, they, they're going to disassemble parts from robots and that's going to give us more bits ultimately. That's kind of a really hilarious uh, side effect. Make no mistake, they will eventually die, but... Uh, that was a nuclear cell. We're getting nuclear cells again. Oh, shoot. It's a trinning lamprey. Okay. We might be able to take out trinning lamprey with our, our fugue. I think we did kill it. Pretty sure we did kill the trinning lamprey. 
Having more clones than the Trinning Lamprey certainly helps. Like, the way you deal with Trinning Lamprey is with AoE attacks, for sure. But that would mean I'd have to tinker up some high explosive grenades, and I'm very lazy. Oh no, the Trinning Lamprey is still alive. Shoot. Hey, you know what would be not a terrible idea? Maybe befriending a Trinning Lamprey. We could proselytize them. Not a terrible idea. Yeah? So, we're now enemies to one Trinning Lamprey. Are we now enemies to Crocolad? Yeah, we are. Crocolad, you better not do me dirty and dismember part of me. So, I don't know what the deal is here. Uh, I've befriended one of the three trending lampreys. They're all technically supposed to be the same person. What? I don't know what's happening right now. I, I really don't. <laughs> oh, okay. We're all friends now. All right. Okay, cool. We actually are all friends. I have to say, probably Trending Lamprey is going to be one of the best companions because I don't see them dying anytime soon. Um, not a huge fan of this situation. I'm going to go ahead and slam the slime so that I don't have to fight two things at once. Psionic Crystal Mace. And there it is. Um, wow. Okay, so it's not a flawless crystal mace. Still really good. Substantial. So I'm going to make that our main weapon now. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll throw, the, I'll throw the, the historic weapon in one of our sides. And uh, I'm hoping that the willpower from... Uh, our, 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 like our ego will make this do a lot of damage um, this weapon uses the wielder's ego modifier for penetration bonus instead of strength mod and attacks MA instead of AV this means that basically our penetration is going to be worth a lot more because things don't tend to have a high AV so that's going to be really good and like even if like we're just like say for instance we're hitting a robot which i don't think even has ma like it, it, it's, it not, doesn't really get affected necessarily by psionic attacks i'm guessing but i think that that's true then um it's still doing 12 pen pretty sure it's doing 12 pen it might be 11 11 okay yeah that's the difference between psionic and uh Psionic, or sorry, flawless, not psionic, flawless and, and non-flawless. Here's a mirror. We want to get rid of that right away. There's still, there's some, some mirror bugs here, so I'm pretty sure, oh, you know what? Is this a lava gel? Magmatic. Okay, we don't want to actually kill that thing with melee, because it's going to flood the room with lava. Oh. Oh. Okay, well see, the Trinning Lamprey is still alive. Yeah, see, it bursts into a bunch of lava. Not not okay. So are all of these red gel? This one certainly is, so let's go ahead and deal with that. Actually, let's Temporal Fugue. That way we can uh, not deal with this together. <laughs> Are you guys like spreading lava everywhere? Kind of feels like you are. <laughs> brackish slime, magmatic, brackish slime, magmatic, magmatic. There's like lava everywhere now. I'm gonna go ahead and wait 300 turns. Cause I don't really wanna deal with me. <laughs> and now I have to navigate this Lava. Uh, I think it would actually be easier to... You know what we're going to do? We're going to make a campsite. 
We're gonna preserve our food. We're going to cook from a recipe. And we're gonna cook one that gives us um, burrowing claws. Okay. And we're just gonna dig around this. That's, that's gonna happen a lot, isn't it? I'm actually not a huge fan of that. So, this is the worst part about... I still don't know how to deal with um, mirror bugs. Still don't really have an idea of, of what to do about those. Oh my god, there's so many of these. Okay, we're gonna herbary up again. Because that's there's just not really a good way of dealing with it. I, I would you, you'd kind of hope that if you got rid of the mirror, that the mirror bugs would disappear, but they don't, and they're just a huge pain in the butt. Why have we spread magmatic? slime everywhere why did we feel that that was necessary that didn't really seem necessary little concern for our equipment we still have a twinning lamprey which is nice sorry trinning lamprey what why are we doing so little damage cannot disassemble <laughs> okay that's fine Oh. Okay, there's a rocket turret over there. All right. Those are one of the few things that can still really hurt us. I love our dual um dual guns, rail guns. They they're they're really good. More books. Always nice. I don't think there's much else here. No, I don't want to... Oh, is that some... That That is some shattered mirror. I thought I could butcher this into something. I really... I thought that uh, you could, like, turn that into a, a cooking ingredient. We're 31 strata deep right now. That's kind of no... N nothing to scoff at. What I'm kind of thinking right now is I'd like to, I don't think, I'm not seeing a staircase. I'm just gonna move to an adjacent tile and then we're gonna find the staircase going up and then we're just gonna go up. Those things are, are pretty tanky. What is happening on this screen? You d it's a little bit spooky. Oh, albino ape corpse. Uh, uh, okay, luckily we're not collecting, auto-collecting that um, albino stuff. Not really finding any stairs here, are we? It's a little odd. So let's go, let's go left instead. Okay, that's you, know, you don't want to really want to see these glitter mensch boulders. They they can be tough. Fortunately, we are much tougher apparently. Yeah, we do get quite a bit of XP from them though. We got a lithofix. Oh, and we're okay. We're on good terms with that lithofix because now we have our scaled thing again. So there, there's our first cherub. Mechanical star baboon cherub. Uh, this creature belongs to the cast of Star Cherubim. They have light manipulation. Fortunately, we also have light manipulation, so we have a good chance to whip the light back at them. I'm pretty sure our railguns are light-based, unfortunately. So that's going to mean that they're going to... Our, our, you know, our guns are not really going to be very effective. So instead, we're just going to walk up to it and perma-stun it. <laughs> Oh god, we have mirror bugs. 
You know, the thing about mirror bugs is I don't think they actually do any good damage on their own. They just hurt when we hit them. So we could just like say, screw it. If I'm really lucky, that mirror bug will get lithoed. Wow. For our trouble, we get a burnt capacitor. Did I actually get any XP from that? It didn't seem like it. We're on good terms with Frago friends. Uh, that is an actual historic croc and is not our friend. And that's a memory eater. So this uh, this this tile is pretty spicy. Uh, I don't want to get memory eated, so I'm gonna go ahead and deal with that right away. Shoot, we got memory eated. Um, I think there's probably still a mirror on this floor somewhere. That litho is getting. Turn, oh, okay, anti-litho fix. So apparently that slime, when it grabs you, it can duplicate you into anti-use. And unfortunately the anti-use are now, I think, aggressive to me. So we're gonna wanna deal with that. I might wanna, let's temporal fugue. Temporal fugues will deal with the memory. Oh, sorry, not memory. Um, mirror bugs so they're gonna take the brunt of the damage on the mirror bugs which is nice i'm not gonna have to deal with that unfortunately they are shooting at me and they are also shooting at mirror bugs which is known to do absolutely nothing since they are actually mirrors very caves of cud stuff going on right now also did i ever put my briny glass back on i did okay good This is a pretty good floor. There was some interesting stuff going on here. I don't know where I am. There's a problem with having like 10 clones. Hey, there's our twinning, there's our trending lamprey friend. Where did, what happened to you, friend? Oh, I think what happened is I accidentally hit one of the wall tiles and they've been like busy trying to break it ever since. That's, that's, I, I, I dislike that, but that's, it's still funny. Okay, there's no staircase going down, so we're gonna go up. We get our litho, or sorry, our training back. Um, so I'm gonna call the episode pretty soon. I, I, I do really enjoy um, ruin diving, and I know it's a pretty entertaining thing to watch for the most part. Trash Abbott, they have a crystal mace, crystal dagger, and turbo. We'll, we'll, t we'll take them out. I, I like crash, uh, um, Trash Abbott's, like, Personally, but um, practically they d tend to have a lot of really good stuff. Rocket turret tinker, we have to kill you right away. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's why. Oh, okay. Well, that's actually good news. Um, that rocket turret took out the other rocket turret before it could hit me as well. Okay, uh, I don't think I want to fight that tur uh, that rocket turret. It's not in a very ideal s spot. Actually, you know what? Obvious answer to pretty much every problem is just have my clones deal with it. Though they're not really dealing with it, are they? There we go. Okay. We have another rocket turret. Uh, is that a? That's not a sleep beard, is it? Oh my God! What is happening? There's like several rocket turrets, and they're all competing for supremacy. 
Okay, we managed to take out the other one before it had a chance to take us out. Lots of lots of nasty things on this floor. What is that? Is that an ontological anchor? It is. And there's also an ogre hat, which I'm not going to bother with. Oh, we have a deep slumberling. That's a that's a rare find. Rare that it's, you know, we're finding it here and not in the deep jungle. I don't see... Okay, there's the staircase. So we're going back up. Things are going pretty okay so far. We managed to take that guy out before he could do his one attack on me. These don't do... They don't give us any XP anymore. There's no point in... Oh, okay. The Greater Voiders, do they give us anything? They give us 67 XP. Well, that's not nothing. Okay, let's just, uh, let's just get Burrowing Claws again. Uh, Sticky Tongue. For Jilly. I have so many recipes that give us, like, stuff we don't want and only this one that unfortunately also uses up a blaze injector gives us burrowing claws what is this, this is full crete that's why it's taking so long to dig through don't really want to be wasting all of this time of, you know, um, digging through stuff. Yeah, I don't know if this is a problem or a solution. <laughs> the fact that Burrowing Claws does this. Almost, I, I don't know what my preference would be on that one. Uh, Rocketeur Tinker. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, we have a we have a purple gel. Purple gels are pretty cool. They have oh, what is this? Algal Lush, Lush Acid. That's almost nice. That's basically wine and acid. Okay, we're continuing up. There's a wow. This this is an interesting uh. <laughs> Staircase that go ends up in a cryogenic chamber. I, oh, that, that rocket turret is the one of the few things that could actually possibly kill our training lamprey. So that's actually kind of spooky. Um, this phase spider is just gonna stop us from being able to disassemble stuff, which is a pain. Because they, they can't actually do anything and we can't actually attack them. So we just end up in a situation that kind of sucks. Phase Spider, you can go away now. I don't like you. <laughs> I wonder if this Phase Spider actually counts as like trivial. Okay, we're just going to go up stairs. Because I don't want to have to deal with the phase spider. It better not follow me, is all I'm saying. Swear to God, if you follow me, phase spider. Phase spider should be able to go upstairs because they, they, they can't. You can't walk upstairs if you're phased. At some point, we are going to find... Oh my God. We're going to not find a rocket turret. At some point, we are actually going to find a sleep beard. Yeah, like I say, uh, training lamprey might actually die. <laughs> it's alive somehow. Oh, we've got a dervish. We had a dervish. What did we collect from them? Psionic full re full right dagger, a missile launcher. Are we automatically disassembling those? I don't know. Maybe. 
Eigenpistol! Yo! Eigenpistol! The dream! The dream! If only we could get a second one. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure they are going to be... Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be Tinker 3. But I can't believe we actually found an Eigen, Eigen Pistol. Holy crud. That is so good. Amazing. Oh, I'm so excited about that. And it's, as I said, it's not that much better. It's pen 11. We're using, oh, we're actually, it's actually not as good pen wise. Our jack scoped handrail are 13 each. So they are actually technically better pen wise. But the Eigen rifles, I think, are probably worth it because their bullets go through uh, enemies. You hear something shooting at the turning ramp lamp right now. Oh, God. A lot of things happening right now, isn't there? I think that was a mercurial and it immediately died as soon as I turned the corner. Or not died, but teleported. It knew that messing with my friend was a bad idea. I got spooked. That's a slumberling, which we can now kill with one blow. Kind of wild when you think about it. Alright, um, we're going to end the episode very soon. These episodes have been ending up long, but that's just because like there's not really a convenient stopping place. And I just get kind of caught up in, in the flow of things. Tell you what, you know what I'd like to do before we end is I'm going to go to uh, Deva. That's right, our like crappy starting village. And I'm going to see if I can't buy some shoes. <laughs> and then we could maybe hand in a Babel quest. Oh, I should have set the recoiler. That was dumb. Um, okay, let's see here. Dromad, you have any shoes? You have some chain boots, that counts. Ch what are you doing with a chain gun? What in the world are you doing? Oh, wow, we actually came dangerously close to running out of um, water. Okay, so that's that. Now we're gonna go to Merkud. See if they have a, a shoe. I don't I think we only need three things with spring loaded. Serrated. Use your skin. Three items. No no no. Three portions of congeal. No, where is it? Where are you? Spring loaded. Three. Promising great renown. That's actually reputation. Uh, is this not... I thought this was a village. If this isn't a village, then I'm going to go ahead and disassemble this recoiler. Merkud? Merkud can um, actually go away now. Good to cross one of these off the list, you know? Okay, let's see. Merkud, Brass, Alarka. If this is another ruin... This is another ruin. Okay, so we're going to disassemble Alarka. Alarkak. Uh, whoops, no. Disassemble. Okay, I think not Dugapad. Dugapad is going to get reused. We could go to Kyakukya. Kyakukya will likely have some shoes. There's two two shoe, two places actually in Kyakukya that might sell us some shoes. We have ourselves um, Ural. Ural will might yeah there you go plastic for sneakers those are really expensive. <laughs> but what do I care? I'll I'll go ahead and support my local business for some uh, some shoes. So I only need one more shoe. Um, not gonna hand in the Yeshurkin. Yes, your skin. Sorry. So why don't we go to? Uh, we'll go to Ezra. 
The problem with Ezra is the shoes are probably going to be really expensive. I mean, you know, besides Plastifer. Yeah, Chris Steele. Flawless Chris Steele Longsword. Spacer Rifle. Spacer... Um, Spacer Pistol is probably the next gun. It's the only one I can foresee wanting over, uh, you know, Eigen Pistol. Which, by the way, we could use a Metamorphic Polygel on our Eigen Pistol. That would actually be kind of worthwhile. So I guess I'll buy Crystal Boots. Please don't hate me for this. Don't don't give me a hard time about this one because. The reason I'm doing it is, yes, out of laziness, yes. But, like, also, I have, like, so much money, it really doesn't matter. Like, look at all this stuff. I I, I, I can't actually get rid of it. Um, so we'll sell the Crystal Halberd for this. One weapon. We could, we could buy the Taco Supremas. I'll buy some Taco Supremas and get rid of some of this Crystal junk. Longsword, wait, no, yeah, Chris, that's the flawless crystal longsword. I, I need to get rid of that. Iron dagger, this has an antimatter cell in it is the only reason I'm not getting rid of it. Get rid of this full right dagger, crystal daggers. There we go, now we're like overweight. Um, this works, because then we'll give back some of the water. We have so much water. Okay, all right, we're good. So now we have three Things. Oh, I just realized we're gonna have to like mod these things, which means when we mod the shoes, they're gonna it's gonna like demand really crazy expensive. Yeah. Okay. I mean, photonics is actually not too bad. This is like a hundred percent not worth it. It's not gonna be worth it. Actually, I wonder if I could just like learn how to make uh, plastic for sneakers. Probably not, right? I don't think you can learn how to make chain boots or plastic for sneakers. But we have three ch spring loaded items all the same. Let's um let's just see if I can't learn some stuff. Can we learn how to make chain boots? No. I didn't think so. Can we learn how to make slip ring? Yes. Yes, we can. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Can we learn how to make a eigen pistol. Yes, actually we can. That is very surprising to me. So we can't learn how to make an arc arc gun, which tells me the arc gun is actually better than an eigen pistol in some ways, including the space inverter. Space inverter is Kind of a weird weapon. I don't think I'll end up using that. Um, okay, so I think we're good. I did want to learn how to make some of these grenades. Oh, including EMP grenade. Oh, I didn't even know we had that. Oh, apparently I already know how to make that. Gravity grenade, normality gas grenade. These are all very good things to know how to do. And now we can finally disassemble these because they've been sitting in my inventory basically for several episodes. Okay, and now I'm gonna wait 700 turns, and it's just that's just so they charge my solar cell. Basically, I, I am actually that lazy about things. I know. Um, so we're gonna go to Greek. Oh, it's a chem cell. I went ahead and I went ahead and put a chem. Did it actually work? That's weird. I know the episode's running long. I just want to hand in this Betel quest, honestly. You'd think that the, the hand in the Betel quest uh, achievement would actually be not just like one, but multiple. Like hand in 20 Betel quests. You'd think that that would be the case. Because, uh, you know, once you get kind of rolling in CUD, you can hand these in with a surprising amount of uh, consistency. Still not really sure what to do about the troll. Oh, that's right, we have a Croco friend here. <laughs> I left a Croco friend here. Uh, that's really funny. 
I left them there when I proselytized the turning lamp, Ray. They were not impressed with us. Fitted with the cleats. Okay, here we go. Three spring-loaded items. Drop. 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 Your reputation with the glow whites has increased by 750. I have never been on good terms with glow whites. That is truly bizarre. That is weird. I'm basically friends with, like, the enemy to cud. <laughs> many, many other factions I would prefer having reputation with. Don't hate this. Don't hate having reputation with glow white. Like, being on friendly terms with a glow white is kind of interesting. So, that's, an, that's a weird way to leave this episode. Um, if you're enjoying the series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I think in the next episode, I'm going to go to the Rainbow Wood because that needs to happen. And I'll just like start the next part of the, the storyline. Um, take it easy. I'll see you guys next time.